Hello, good morning everyone. It's early morning for me, Saturday. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today, uh, our topic is uh, uh, car service or whatever vehicle you own, maintenance of it. So, my car's up for uh, service. It's a little bit of a bigger service than just uh, changing oil and filters. So, I am taking it to the dealer, uh, manufacturer dealer. The car is a, is a, is a Honda, so I'm going to the local Honda dealer. Uh, because it's a longer service, so it was not just possible to go and walk in. Uh, so I booked book an appointment and Saturdays are quite busy. So the time I got was early morning uh, Saturday and, and that's that's okay. Uh, if you if you were just doing a, a simple like uh, oil filter change and it's just a small service that, that you could do walk in. Most of the places do walk in. Now all these uh, dealerships uh, have enough sophisticated websites where you can do your uh, appointment online, book it online. In terms, in terms of uh, if you don't want to do your car service at the dealer, uh, what choices or what other options do you have? So there are obviously you know you can go to any local uh, mechanic, independent mechanic that you can find and uh, they can service the car for you there are also a couple of uh, at least in, in my area uh, franchises uh, which which are, are are well known international franchises which can also do service so one of them is uh, midas uh, you know they do uh, basic service oil change tire rotation changing filters uh, checking up on your battery of the car, replacing battery, so nothing, no big mechanical work, but just regular maintenance, changing the wipers, for example. Right? So that costs anywhere uh, from you know fifty to hundred dollars, depending on on top of basic oil change, what else you are adding. There's another franchise called uh, Jiffy Lube. Uh, that's also a similar model, you know same prices you know it's a franchise pretty good service uh, and then lastly you will also find a franchise called Mr. Lou right so Mr. Lou is also uh, the same concept the difference being you know it's uh, you have you don't have to get out of your car so when you go there wait in the line your turn comes in you pull in you stay in the car they give you newspaper coffee if you want uh, and then you're out in a short amount of time. So those are independent uh, uh, the Canadian market. Whenever you have uh, a car that you are trying to sell, uh, I, it's, it, to me, my experience has been it's been very useful to keep your maintenance and service records, uh, and so that you can show it to the prospective buyer that this car has been regularly maintained, uh, that all the services were done on time, so it just gives uh, the buyer that added confidence that the car was uh, taken care of. That's a little bit about the service. Uh, and then the process, I guess uh, you can see how when we get there, I'll show you. But uh, most of the time, these services or this, uh, this work could be two, three, four hours. So the question becomes, what do you do? Uh, certainly you have an option of waiting two, three hours. These, these places all have, uh, especially the large dealerships have uh, big enough room, waiting rooms that you can wait, uh, pre-COVID, you know, you would get coffee, cookies. Sometimes there is a coin-operated coffee machine. You can uh, use that. Uh, but I'm not sure how it looks like now uh, in, during the uh, pandemic, so so maybe uh, that's not available. Uh, 
the other option if you don't want to wait is uh, most of these dealerships big dealerships not the franchises like uh, by the if you do by mr luke but you know your nissan honda toyota or you know kia or whatever dealer have the option uh, to give you a ride back in their courtesy shuttle you, we will, you'll not be the only one in that shuttle. They take two, three, four people at a time and then drop you at your home. And then once your car is ready, they will uh, come, come and pick you up. So, so that's my plan uh, to use the courtesy shuttle. Uh, I hope they have it. Otherwise, uh, I'll uh, go over or wait for two, three hours there, which I don't I'm done with uh, dropping my car. They have stopped uh, doing the shuttle, but uh, they do have an option to call you an Uber. So I'm waiting for my ride. It should be here in two, three minutes. Uh, and then uh, when it's ready, they will send an Uber for me as well. So, so far so good. Everything was uh, uh, on time and efficient. Let's see uh, how the rest of the day goes. Hopefully they're done fast and so I can get on with my uh, day. Okay, so we're done with uh, the service. Took them a little bit longer than I expected, but we're done. Um, they sent uh, an Uber for me, I guess, because uh, they don't have the shuttle. Um, all in all, I'm done and uh, that's it. That's uh, my experience with uh, getting the car service. So I just wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's episode. It was informative. If you like my content, uh, please um, you know, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, press the like button. And uh, until next time, take care and see you soon.